Afternoon, folks. I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School back down here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Classroom. What I want to show you today is something I came up with a couple weeks ago I've been playing with called the Paracord Compass. It's a very simple device to make to find general direction immediately. And I found this from studying something else and it kind of came to me from this. So let's talk about the evolution real quick of this and how I came up with it. Then we'll talk about how it works and I'll show you how it works out here on a stump. So back in Egyptian times, there were a group of workers called rope stretchers and the rope stretchers were responsible to square the corners of buildings. And so what they had was they had a rope that had 12 knots in that rope to follow the Pythagorean theory that if they found the north south line and put one knot on that line, if they stretched over three, down five, and made the perfect angle of the seven, so you had seven knots on this side, three on this side, five on this side, gave you that perfect 90 degree angle so that you could square. And then you could flip flop that to square the entire building. I made one of these to play with that. And then I got to thinking, you know what? Now I've got 12 knots in a rope and there's 12 hours in a day. So if I go from rope stretcher mode to navigation mode, if I take that same rope and I put a stick in the ground and I've got knots all the way around this rope, let's just do this here real quick. To, so we got one, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12. Now we got 12 knots in the rope, right? If we want to use this for a compass, we have to understand that we need a 24 hour system to be able to measure time because the sun moves approximately 15 degrees every hour. A clock face like this, there's 30 degrees in between each dot. So we need to break this down further. So I took a piece of paracord, tied the 12 knots in it, same one I was playing with with the rope stretcher theory. And then I took a marker and I put a mark in between each one of these with a black marker. I could have tied more knots, but it was just as easy to use a permanent marker for this. And now what I created is a 24 hour clock system basically. So that if I'm only using half of that, this being the horizon six to six, this being 12, now I've got 12, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then again, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, this being the nighttime, right? Now what I can do is, if I just take any stick and put it in the ground, and I throw this rope in a semicircle, or as close as I can get it to a circle, around that thing, wherever that shadow is pointing, all I need to do is I need to move that rope a little bit till it's on a mark or a line to give me a solid hour which means I could be seven-ish degrees off, seven and a half degrees off. But again, we're talking about primitive navigation. So I move that till it's on, the, on a dot. And then I figure out what time of day it is. Counting hands down from the sun, up from the horizon, looking at my watch, however I decide to do that, bearing in mind that we're on that stupid daylight savings time now. So it's actually an hour earlier than your watch says it is. If your watch changes automatically like mine does, and then all I need to do is figure out what time it is and figure out where the 12 o'clock is compared to that. And that gives me a north south line because I'm going to have a dot opposing that here, just like I have a dot opposing this one here. And I'm going to have two dots opposing here and I can get that 90 degree angle here. And that gives me that 12 o'clock hour at six o'clock hour, the north south line and my east west line immediately. Right? Sounds a little complicated, it's really not. Just think of this as a clock face and each one of these dots or marks in the cord is one hour of the day. All you have to do is figure out what time it is, make sure that this shadow currently is either on a dot or a knot so that you know it's on a certain hour of the day. And then you can just count hours from that to noon. It's very, very simple. If that shadow were 
say that shadow were sitting here somewhere, then all we'd have to do, and let's say, this, forget all these numbers are on here, right? Forget all of this is here, and just say that our shadow is falling here, and it's 11 o'clock a.m. Then I know that the shadow is falling there, that this dot is 12. So I know that this line now is north-south. And the opposite of that, 90 degrees from that, is going to be my east-west line. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be my east-west line, right? West to east. Very, very simplistic in nature, but stems from ancient technology of the rope structures of Egypt that we can use every day. And that thing can be this big that you put in your pocket or that you have in your kit somewhere. And it's an emergency backup even to your compass should something happen to it or a verification if you don't think your compass is correct or something you could even make on the fly. But I would say to get those knots really good and even, you probably want to measure it while you're doing it, which is what I did when I made the first one, all right? I hope that I didn't confuse anybody with this. It's very, very simple math and understanding time of day equals navigation. Let's go out and take a look at how this works in real life. Okay, so let's take a fairly simple one first and check our whole daylight savings time deal, right? Right now, my watch says one o'clock. That means it should be noon, which means really if it's noon, that shadow should be pretty close to right on the money. So if we just call it what it is and say it's 12 o'clock and that shadow is laying on a mark or a dot, then we're saying that's 12 o'clock, which means that shadow should be facing pretty well north-south. So let's verify that real quick. Let's just lay a stick on that shadow, just like this, for a north-south line. We'll get a 90 off of that for our east-west line, not to not there. And we'll lay our compass right down here beside it. Whoop, I moved my sticks there. And then we'll lift up the camera and we'll go look at that if I can get out of the shadow here and see what that says. You can see that's almost dead on the money. Now we're gonna wait till about three o'clock, which should be two o'clock. We're gonna come back and we're gonna look at it again. All right, so I've got a dead cat on this mic. How much it's helping, I don't know, but I hope it's helping a little bit. We're gonna start the whole process over again. This is how I carry this thing in my pocket. I've just got a piece of stretch cord around it. And it is just a piece of paracord that's got 12 evenly spaced knots in it. And then it's tied together right here. And then in between each one of those knots, there is a mark with a permanent marker in the center, which gives me 24 markings around this circular rope. Okay, so now if we take this rope, kind of stretch it out from where it's crinkled up, being in my pocket, stretch it out a little bit, throw it over the top of our stake, Get it in fairly circular fashion, eyeballing it, and we get a knot or a dot basically on that shadow. And then we look at our watch, okay? My watch says 10 minutes till three, but I know we're on daylight savings time, so it's 10 minutes till two. So putting it on two o'clock or saying that that's two o'clock is gonna be pretty good. We back up from that to, 12, to one o'clock, 12 o'clock, then this dot should be our north-south line. So if we go here, we have an opposing dot on the bottom. Everything's fairly circular there. We should be in pretty good shape. Now, we can lay a compass down here and verify our findings. I'll lay the compass down there beside it. I'll let you guys kind of look at that for verification purposes. I'll let you guys eyeball over top of that real quick here. So there's what we're looking at, okay? We're really, really close. Just a few, very few degrees off. And again, we're talking about the difference between magnetic and grid north here. So if you look, your magnetic pole or where you're off is westerly. We have westerly declination here of about seven degrees. So if we're off less than 10 degrees in a westerly direction with the compass, this thing is pretty dang accurate. Okay, guys, listen, I hope that explanation was easy enough for you. You're basically creating a clock face, a 24-hour clock face with this rope. But it's something that you can carry in your pocket that's very small and very easy. 
You could even tie it on the fly, like I said, if you needed to, if you can get your knots even enough. But it's going to give you a pretty quick, almost immediate direction finding ability if you don't have a compass or, again, if you have to verify a compass or you've lost your compass. It's just another tool for your toolbox. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.